know, this winter in New York has been one of the coldest in recent memory. We even got hit with something the weathermen have been referring to as a bomb cyclone. Well, all this bomb cyclone talk has got me to thinking, you know, I'm getting older. and Sometimes I look around and I don't even recognize the world I'm living in anymore. Things are changing every day, and well, if I'm being honest, it's not always for the better. And it's times like these that I like to take a moment to talk about how things were just a bit more simple back in my day. Back in my day, we didn't have to worry about weather events like the bomb cyclone, no sir. Back in my day, our weather was simple. You had your storms, your blizzards, every now and then a gale or two. And if you called something the bomb cyclone, that just meant you thought it was pretty cool. You the bomb, Cyclone. <laughs> Back in my day, we weren't all talking about how Donald Trump called other countries holes. No, sir. Back in my day, if somebody was talking about Donald Trump and holes, they were referring to his casinos in Atlantic City. <laughs> Back in my day, Oprah wasn't giving impassioned speeches at the Golden Globes. No, sir. She was doing that on her own show. And if you were lucky, you got a car at the end of the speech. I'm just saying, I didn't get a car and I hosted. Back in my day, Pizza Hut wasn't making no self-driving car that could both make and deliver pizzas pish posh. Back then, the only reason you'd be making a pizza in a car was because Karen threw you out of the house again. So you picked up a stack of Lunchables from the Stop and Shop and now, you're sitting in your Corolla, stacking salami on mozzarella on Ritz, thinking, I don't need Karen anyway. <laughs> Back in my day, President Trump wasn't bragging about the size of his nuclear button to Kim Jong-un in some kind of metaphorical penis measuring contest. No, he was bragging about the size of his penis to Marco Rubio in an actual penis measuring contest. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't have midterm elections. Well, wait, come to think of it, we probably did. And the fact that nobody cared about them is why we're in this situation today. There'll be another set coming up, remember that. Back in my day, Justin Timberlake wasn't headlining the Super Bowl halftime show. Janet Jackson was. And Timberlake was only there to pop her nipple out. This year, I kind of wonder if Janet Jackson's gonna make an appearance to pop something of his out. Oh, come on, Rusty, that's disgusting. No one wants to see that. I only showed that to you once and I was drunk. Back in my day, people weren't fawning over those cute little Star Wars characters called Porgs. Can you imagine? Back in my day, when you saw a Porg, you ate it. Porg chops, Porg fried rice, pulled Porg, Porg rinds, Porgs in a blanket. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, Mushu Porg. Thank you, Rusty. Back in my day, women in Hollywood weren't saying me too. Back then, it was men saying me too. For example, one guy would say, I've been acting sexually inappropriate in the workplace, and his buddy would say, me too. <laughs> Back in my day, North Korea wasn't participating in the Olympics. Unthinkable. Back then, if a North Korean wanted to show how athletic they were, they did it the old-fashioned way, by running for dear life through the demilitarized zone. <laughs> Way! I'm sorry, but sometimes this grizzled, greased-up old gipper has some grievances to get out. This has been back in my day.